Thank you, Jennifer. Gary, a big sports fan, so how fitting. Now you've got a sports guy talking food. Our recipe today is for no-bake healthy breakfast cookies, Re recipe courtesy of Chelsea Messi's apron. We'll share the website with you later in this segment. You'll only need seven ingredients, a microwave or a stovetop, some optional chocolate if you want to sweeten things up a bit. Here are the ingredients we have for today's recipe. Creamy peanut butter, honey, vanilla, salt, Rice crispy cereal, flaxseed flour, old-fashioned oats, and we do have some chocolate here, but remember that is, of course, optional. And you can also add some raisins, chopped mini nuts, mini chocolate chips, or craisins if you want to even more to your no-bake breakfast cookies. So, Wait, guys, you didn't have cookies for breakfast? Yeah, apparently, no-bake, too. Let's I've get to work. I've spotted a problem. We don't have Rice Krispies. We have crispy rice. We have what crispy are we going to do? Well, it's the same. Rice Krispies is the cereal, so we're good to go. Hey, I got it. I got it. <laughs> there you go. Rice Krispies. <laughs> Perfect. Ready. So let's get to work, Andy. I'm going to, in this medium sized bowl here, you're going to combine the peanut butter, which we've pre measured out. Thank you for the doing honey. That, by the way. Yes, that's very crucial to this. We'll add in the honey, the vanilla, and the salt. And you can also microwave this for 20 to 30 seconds, and then we're going to stir until it's all combined. Peanut so we got butter, the peanut butters in there. Honey? The honey. Right How much are we doing for the honey? The honey, we want two tablespoons. Like that maybe? Yeah, that's <laughs> a little more. Uh, that looks good to me. I don't okay. know. It might be a lot. I'm not really sure. You have the an eyeball, eye for... the eyeball test of You're two better tablespoons. You're better with the metrics yeah. though, aren't you? <laughs> I'm a metric system guy. What that's was right. the last thing? The last Honey? thing was uh, vanilla Seven. and the salt. Vanilla. And the vanilla we're looking for one teaspoon. So again, Andy, your best eye test, sure. <laughs> Never have too much vanilla. Right. It's splashing onto the recipe as oh, well. Oh, so. sorry. It makes no, it authentic, yes, right? Yes, that's great. Now it looks salt. like we actually worked on it. And for salt, we want Black a sea? pinch of salt. And this is just optional. I don't see salt. Okay, we're going we're gonna to pass on the salt. Then. I'll put a little flaxseed in. How about yeah, that? Yeah, we'll start stirring actually, oh, and we're going to add that later on. And we want to stir until this is all combined. Can you use a wooden spoon in a heated pot? I believe so, yeah. yeah. You're doing it right now. I guess so. So, yeah. All right, we're stirred, kind of. We want to make it... Like creamy? All together, yeah. The peanut butter is already creamy enough, but yeah. Another 10, 15 seconds of stirring. And then in that same bowl, Mark, we're going to add the Rice Krispie cereal, right. which Andy has flipped on its head. There we are. The flaxseed. How much flaxseed? I think the, the flaxseed wasn't pre-measured, so we're going to go one quarter cup. Oh, maybe it was, actually. Or no, one quarter cup. <laughs> That'd be way too much. You never have too much flaxseed. <laughs> yeah. You can't right? have too much flaxseed. One quarter cup of the flaxseed, and then the oats. That was pre-measured for us. Luckily, you can see some of this was pre-measured for us three sports guys who are not the best <laughs> at cooking. So that speak was just, for yourself, yeah. Matt. Well, all right, I'll speak for only for myself. You're the expert, though. Okay, so then we can add on our um, optional add-ins if desired. I think we have our chocolate out here, so let's throw some of that in. And it is coming together. Maybe, Andy, you can a tilt too it. Too much, maybe. Maybe you can tilt it a little so they can get a look. Yeah, there. That looks like a clump more than a bar. Well, a we're going to, the next step is the to form balls with our, form a ball shape with what we've had in our bowl here. Do we have any and other flatten add it. We didn't have any other add-ins, but of course you could add raisins, chopped up nuts, craisins. We went with the mini chocolate chips. But Go keep ahead, stirring. There, Mark. Keep stirring while it's Mark gets started. And then just form it into a ball shape and then flatten it into a cookie shape. And if desired, you can even melt three tablespoons of milk chocolate chips in the microwave. Uh -huh. Put the melted chocolate in a small Ziploc bag and drizzle it on. That looks real professional. I don't know you if we do that all the time. Over definitely Delphus. never done that before in my life, but <laughs> today would have been a good time to try it out. And then these cookies will be ready to eat. Mark's got them on that plate Is over there. Good? Can you just eat it right away or does it? Yeah, you can eat so it. So you really don't have right. to make it into the cookie shape. You can no, eat you can eat it out of, out of a ball, but if we're, yeah, we call it a cookie. We want it to look like a cookie. It's What's really the verdict, good. Andy? Really good. You can store these for four to five days, freeze them for up to three months. Look at that. In what, five minutes, would you say? Less than five minutes, we had Just like no that. bake. So about cookies. 500 times more than it takes you to bowl, pour a bowl of cereal. Yes. <laughs> so you're saying you wouldn't eat cookies for breakfast, Mark? I would rather have the cereal. All right. Can Andy, what milk? about you? Can I pour milk over them? Oh, then you're, now we're combining and we got cookie cereal. <laughs> I don't see, I don't think, I don't, I don't have a like problem with that. Crunch, yeah. yeah. All right, Jennifer, how do we do? <laughs> Back to you. 